people value different things in a franchise. Some people just talk about the system. Other people get hung up on like marketing or what's the purchasing like. It, they're all great questions. But, you know, like anything, you look at that, the, the, the sum total of what you're looking for. I mean, every guy seems to want, at least my age group, want, wanted Christy Brinkley in the old days, the blonde model that was 6'1", or however tall she was. And, and yeah, you might get a woman that looks sort of like her, but a little shorter. Maybe she's five pounds heavier. Um, you never get exactly what you want. And in a franchise, if what you want is to create your own business, by all means, create your own business. And, and you can be successful. The odds are kind of rough and, and stacked against you. Yeah, for sure. So we're just comparing starting your own business from scratch, coming up with your name and your business entity and how you're going to model it and going forth. Uh, what is it? 90% of businesses fail in the first five years. Uh, so just make sure you're one of the 10%. Uh, and then yeah. if you don't want to do that, there are these systems and setups really ready and willing to work with smart people that want to put in a little bit of sweat equity and a little bit of cash. Yep. What we what we haven't talked about, Lance, is can you actually earn a living doing this? You know, the maybe one of the other things I hear is, well, geez, you know, one franchise is going to pay me, you know, after all said and done, thirty or forty grand. I can't live on that. I want to make two hundred grand. Yeah. Uh, how, you know, I'm going to have to have five franchises, and I don't have the money for five franchises, so I might as well just not get started. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it goes back to return on investment for everybody. My buddy that did the Great Clips hair salons knew that it was 160000 or so in those days to open a Great Clips all in, working capital, marketing, labor, franchise fee included. And he got one. Mm -hmm. So let's see how it goes. And he liked it. He bought another using the SBA. And then eventually got a big development agreement and was also able to buy existing great clips from people that were the poor, poor performers in the area that were giving him a deal to exit so they can get out. But at the end of the day, you have to start somewhere. And that's what it comes down to. You can't just be a millionaire overnight from doing a little bit of work, investing a little bit of money. 